just letting you guys know you can listen to my no bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my no bleeps youtube channel link in the description Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill's Edge. We're once again talking about Tana Mojo because she has had the worst weeks of her life recently and she is back on YouTube. She got locked out of her YouTube account and she finally got access to it again and she says that she has heard her fans loud and clear and that she's not going to be doing the short video. She's back to doing story times and that's exactly what this video was. It was a 35 minute long just rant of everything that's been going on in her life but she did not include any information about what has been going on between her and Jordan, her former manager. As you guys know, she is no longer working with Jordan. At least if you guys have seen any of my recent videos about her, she signed with a new management company. So it's really unclear what has been going on between her and Jordan and why they stopped working together, but she did not include that information in this video. She only goes into detail about this friend of hers. Tana attempted to keep this girl's identity a secret by referencing her as Mindy during the story time, but it it did not work out and honestly it was pretty obvious with everything that tana gave in this video especially at the end referencing tiktoks that this girl had commented on it was pretty easy to find out who it was later on we'll reveal who it was because she ended up coming out with a response video because she's been getting a ton of hate during this entire situation and that's also why there's a lot of drama going on basically in this video tana is also hinting that she might be releasing a book soon about her life but she wants to do these story times and if she keeps doing the story times she's not gonna have content for her book but she knows that everybody likes her story times so she's conflicted but she says the reason why she doesn't do them as often as she used to is because they are problematic and they always cause problems for her like she told a story about having a sugar daddy one time and she's really big and so people were able to track down this sugar daddy and find him and he basically threatened to sue her millions of dollars because well it's supposed to be like a secret when you have a sugar baby. Anyways, she messed that one up and she pretty much does the same thing in this video by making it really easy for people to find out who she was talking about. And it's exactly why the girl had to come out and be like, this is my side of the story because she was getting so much hate. But in this story, she details pretty much the worst week that she has had and she says like she rarely ever goes on rants anymore because she feels like she can't really talk about how her life is bad or something because she lives such a nice life now but this was the week that she wanted to specifically get into detail about and she ended up talking about the fact that her ex which i believe is mod son wrote a song about her and she says she usually likes songs written about her but not this one she says that it is a hateful record and that they are saying that she deserves the worst and that she is the worst and that she's in love with her ex meaning jake paul and she was just really hurt and offended by the songs that he has been releasing about her and the song is called karma and if you guys look up the lyrics it's like really inappropriate so i can't read it but oh my gosh it literally seems like he hates her the lyrics are so harsh but yeah i just had to mention that so that you guys could could go look it up because yikes then she gets into this massive story about halloween and this ending of a friendship with this girl mindy who they've been best friends for about a year now and best friends best best friends for about seven months she says that she values this person like a family member manages their only fans and she gives this entire backstory saying that this girl mindy had a crush on another girl that is in their like friend group and tana was talking to this girl one night at dinner and mindy got very upset at tana for this and said that you know she had a crush on her and tana can't really talk to other people that she has a crush on because as a good friend she should just like not you know try to flirt with this other girl and you know, be aware of mindy's feelings tana then says that she has an f buddy that she has been hanging out with and she calls him jeff that's not his real name but she calls him jeff she says that you know jeff comes over and they hook up and mindy will always talk to jeff and they become friends over the you know past couple of months that they've been hooking up because you know jeff has kind of become friends with all of tana's friends at this point but recently she has been keeping her eye on mindy because mindy posted a photo on her instagram and tana had seen that jeff had commented on this instagram and she was just kind of like you don't really comment especially three star emojis on someone's Instagram if you're not like into them somehow. So she says later that night, her and her friends go out to dinner and at this dinner, they see her ex that has been releasing all these horrible songs about her. 
and as Tana and her friends try to leave this dinner because they do not want to be around that, all of her ex's friends start screaming the chorus of the song that is about her and it's just not a good night for her. And she basically goes on to say that later that night, Mindy tells Tana that she should invite Jeff to dinner and Mindy is just like a little too happy to be seeing Jeff there. Tana's a little skeptical, but she doesn't think like Mindy would ever do anything. Then she says that because she notices that Mindy has been spending a little bit more time closer to Jeff, she starts to get close to the girl that Mindy likes and goes to her room with the girl that Mindy likes, but they didn't do anything. They were just up talking. And right as Tana was about to fall asleep, she says it was like at 8 a.m. She wonders where Jeff is, whether he went home that night because after dinner, they had all come back to her place. She wonders if, you know, he ever went home. And she says that she is looking and she sees Mindy walk out of the movie room looking not together at all. And Jeff texts her to come to the movie room so they can talk. And basically in her house, Mindy hooked up with Jeff who had been hooking up with Tana. And she said she popped off on Jeff. She has security cameras, so she was able to prove that Mindy and Jeff did hook up in her house. And Mindy tried to deny it. She said that Mindy did not want to leave. She ended up crying as she was leaving. And it's just this entire dramatic mess. This is truly like original Tana here that we are getting. We are getting like story time Tana from back in the day. First of all, I cannot believe the story. Like if I walked in or saw like my friends hooking up with some guy that I was hooking up with, I would be so like, you, you couldn't even control me. I would be so upset, but I can't help but remember the part where Tana was saying that, you know, to kind of mess with Mindy about her and Jeff, she was talking to the girl that Mindy liked and then went to her room with that girl. So I'm not trying to justify anything, but I'm just saying like, it seemed like everyone was kind of being messy in the situation. As for the girl, because Tana made it quite obvious who she is, she's been getting a ton of hate comments on her Instagram and on TikTok. And it's just been like, she's the joke of the town basically because Tana made it super obvious. And people have just been like, how could you do that to Tana? How could you do that in her house? You're a terrible friend. And just saying a lot of really negative stuff. So Tana had to come out on her Twitter and she said, by the way, I never condone harassment towards anyone I tell a story about. I don't think with an eye for an eye mentality and whatever that person did, I'll go to therapy over. LMAO, no need to attack anyone. My little spray tans, I love you. I definitely think she could have made it less obvious who it was by not saying that this girl like commented on one of her TikToks. It just, it was very obvious. Uh, and the way that she was talking about Mindy definitely didn't paint her in the best light. So obviously her fans are going to be upset. I mean, she did say that it was going to potentially cause a scandal by telling this story, but I don't know if that was the best move. I mean, Tana definitely didn't address any of the things that were going on in her life, like getting called out for going to a party and to not caring about the pandemic. She hasn't addressed any of that. She's like saying that she's all about accountability these days and she has that freaking accountability coach, but she isn't taking any accountability at all. She just decided that she was going to, you know, become this old Tana of hers and do a story time, which obviously a lot of people are responding to well. They love her story times. This is what she got famous for. She's really good at telling stories. And so this video was obviously very entertaining. But when you think about the real issues at hand here, the reason why people are upset at Tana, they're still there. They're still not being addressed. It's not good what she has been doing. LA is on a complete lockdown. She's still partying. She doesn't care about people's health and safety. It's very clear. Clear, it's upsetting. I know it gets annoying talking about this stuff, but it is the reality right now that we are still in this pandemic and it just sucks. All right, guys. So I'm hopping in because in an unexpected turn of events, Mindy has actually revealed herself and I can freaking tell you guys who she is because she's made a video. So I feel like I can reveal who she is. So the girl's name is Brooke. She was friends with Tana and that is who Mindy is. The one that hooked up with the guy that Tana was hooking up with in the movie room and she made a video titled to Tana from Mindy where she basically is talking about how the situation has gotten really out of hand she's gotten a lot of hate comments like I said Tana made it pretty dang obvious who Mindy was so that really sucked like she got all that hate obviously what she did was super messed up but I don't know just like somehow bringing it online and into the public just like doesn't feel right on Tana's part to get like her entire audience to like hate one of her old friends because of this situation but 
In this video, she clarifies that she never invited Jeff to dinner. That like was not her idea to tell Tana to invite Jeff over to dinner. And she said that Tana was all over the girl that she liked and everyone thought it was super shady when Tana went to her room with this girl and locked the door never to be seen again for the rest of the night. And everyone's just like, I can't believe she did that to you. And she says that the entire video, Tana is trying to elude that her and Jeff did the deed, but she said that they only just hooked up and they did not do the deed but people felt like she was trying to justify hooking up with the guy that tana was hooking up with because tana was with the girl that she liked she also said that tana outed her in this video because in the video tana said that mindy was interested in this girl and she said she wasn't out and tana outed her so that is just you guys this whole thing is a mess and tana says she has proof she says she has video camera footage from the movie room seeing them hook up and Tana was like trying to be super shady and put on her TikTok footage like the security camera footage of Brooke and this guy in the kitchen and was trying to be like how bizarre like you guys are kind of being touchy-feely and this whole thing is getting out of hand it's getting out of hand it's getting shady it's getting messy and I want to know what you guys think about it because it's freaking crazy. Storytime Tana is back, but like more scandalous than ever because people are being revealed and there's drama and I want to know what you guys think about it. Did you guys watch the story time? How do you feel about Tana's response to people coming at Brooke, Brooke's video response and Tana coming out with some of this footage from the security cameras? Like this is insane. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.